Little carp on the on the blueberries. That's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. I I thought the the pineapple was a stretch. I blueberries what? I mean blueberries grow around here. Wild blueberries. Well, not pineapple. I guess the the blueberries make more sense than the pineapple now that I now that I analyze the uh, the whole situation. Fishmonger Jim here this morning at uh, this lake in the woods again. I can't get enough of this lake in the woods. Love this lake in the woods. Uh, I got uh, probably another another week of the fruiting uh, mulberry tree that I can carp fish under. I'm still under 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 the spell of that that elusive 10 pound snakehead. I know he's here. I know he's here. So I'm gonna invest a little bit of time today. Not feeling so great, to be honest with you, boys. But uh, for the unorthodox carp bait today, I've got some blueberries that I uh, picked with Dylan yesterday. And, uh, you know, I'll put some of that footage here. I was going to fish down uh, under the Garden State Parkway saltwater for white perch last night with uh, Salty Chris, who just got a new Hobie kayak. A new old Hobie kayak. But, um,. Yeah, thunderstorms and high winds, so we uh, we bagged that plan. I'm here today, even though I'm not feeling so great. So we'll see what happens. Should be an interesting day. Blueberries, boys. Yes, blueberries. I'm gonna catch carp on blueberries, hopefully. Clearly, this field could be full, right? Yeah. Of people, and there'd still be rotting fruit. Like, there's nobody here. Well, except, all kinds of fruit except them. Yeah, but like, how, what percent of this crop? winds up on the ground and, under, and doesn't get eaten by the blueberry crab. Dude, can't you just follow it? <laughs> See, he does make an awful big deal out of him. Does, uh oh. That was close, Jigs. It's just the blueberry, Jigs. <laughs> Gets his whole body into it. Yeah, that's a twenty bucks for all. That's a very reasonable. I get the shot though. Jump. We have these on a on a down the basement to I dry. You had like eight seconds of video. To dry on the table. Yeah, go ahead. Eat some. Uh, that Which one's one? the hound fish. Yeah, you can pick it up. Which? Put the fork down. That's the hound fish, and that's the Spanish mackerel. What do you want me to try first? Try the hound fish. It doesn't really matter. But probably. Oh, it's good. It reminds me of smoked herring. I was just thinking there was no carp sign. That might have been a catfish there, those swirls. Something going on here. I mean, I'd be all right with a catfish. There's not a whole lot of fruit left on the tree. A few berries here and there. I figure that storm we had last night probably knocked a bunch of them down. So there's a uh, a persimmon tree down that away. I don't know. I'm gonna chum this spot. Uh, I think the persimmon tree doesn't fruit until like mid-August. So here's what we got going on. I got a I got a pack bait here. It's kind of the same deal as last time I, I was fishing down here. Instead of pineapple, I've got I've got uh, corn. So I got a this is my Jeep corn. It's been in my Jeep for a few years. Yeah. Um, so we'll use that up. And I got a can of uh, creamed corn. So we want to just get them in the area, keep them interested in staying in the area, and not fill them up. That's the idea. So we'll let this chum. Oh, yeah, and I've got a. Uh, I've got a. Uh, a half a packet of strawberry jello here. I'll go ahead and mix this up real well. And we'll broadcast out underneath this tree and hopefully there's some carp that are still uh, that don't know how to climb trees and don't know that there's no fruit on the tree. And we'll go ahead and uh, we'll trick them into staying here. We'll go catch some snakeheads hopefully. Maybe a few bass if the snakeheads aren't cooperating. 
and then we'll come back. I'm thinking probably, you know, two hours. Two hours probably be good. Be good. Oh, and I also have some really terrible bread. Uh, it's it's still fresh, but it's not my. It's really like uh, you know, mushy. Not mushy. There's nothing to it. You know, a, a loaf of bread, in my opinion, is no good unless unless you can pick it up off the shelf, whack somebody in the head with it, and knock them out. I thought this was going to be that bread, but no, nah, no. Petri Pepperidge Farm, you get your act together. This is no good. This is carp food today. Got a lot of weeds. Got a lot of weeds. Oh, did he come off? Oh, that dirty dog. Ah, I waited. I set the hook proper. Damn it, Jim. Wow. Well, that didn't take long. I didn't even get back to the spot. Like, this is the highway to the spot. I had to stop here for a minute. Um, yeah, they're, they're, um, well, that one was active anyway. That's a good sign. God, I just missed another one. That one. That was really tiny. That was like puny. That was probably only like a pound. Oh, how about that? Well, I, it, again, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. It was fun while it lasted. So it's been, uh, I don't know, four hours. I've been snakehead fishing for four hours unsuccessfully I didn't land anything I, I, I certainly saw a lot but they're just not turned on so I, I'm back at the carpin spot and I'm hooking up the blueberries here um, yeah yeah I hooked into a couple fish but not really not really I wonder if these float they're kind of eh, the hooks taking them down I get back here so I just pulled up here and there was a, you know, probably 10 pound carp, but something just came up over there. I got some bread out on the surface here. I will be adding more bread to try to get them to feed up top. But this is the uh, the pack bait. It's uh, oatmeal, oatmeal, uh, potato. F oh yeah, I just heard another carp up there. That's a big one that just came up over here. A 10 plus pound class so the idea behind this this pack bait so you got plenty of hook exposed here you got your two berries on there and you just pack this around it hence the name pack bait and when it hits the bottom it uh, disintegrates on the bottom and it leaves your your blueberries in their own pile of highly visible chum you know the carper uh, carp can see so maybe maybe that's a uh, that's a big big pack bait there no weight just a uh, an offset J hook that's all I'm using and it is hot today boys I don't know you can see my my skin glistening that's not I didn't get wet that's uh, that's me oozing oozing heat uh, we'll give this a whirl for a little bit. I'm thinking maybe I want to go like on the other, completely other side of the lake. I've only fished over there a couple times, but and we're gonna we're gonna flang this out. Oh, we're gonna wrap it up on the other rod. That's the spot right there. That's the spot. We'll just let that hit the bottom, and then we will, we will, we will. It's quite deep there. We'll go ahead and close the bell, check our drag, tighten that drag a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more than that maybe. That's that. And flip this one out. And we wait. Alright, fish fish on. Fish on. Well, that's been like I didn't I didn't even really take a sip of my beer yet. That's catfish. That's all right. That's all right. I I'm almost not skunked as soon as I as soon as I touch this fish. I will not be skunked any longer, which is uh is fine. Look at his belly. 
This bastard's been eating my chum all morning. All right. Bloop catfish on blueberries. What? Channel cat. Come on, Jim. Get it together. There we go. All right. I am not skunked. We're going for a South Jersey sleigh ride here. What you got, Jim? What you got? Oh, get rid of the blueberries. Don't. I don't just. I didn't even bait up the other rod. I'm thinking it's another catfish, but the hell do I know? Yeah, another cat. Decent cat. Decent cat at that. Yeah. How about that? Nice. Ah, I swallowed it. I didn't realize that I had my bail open. Whoa, careful, buddy. Damn. Damn. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a nicer cat. He got so oh, don't get my blueberries dirty. dirty. I plan on eating some of them. Son of a bitch. I'm just bait I just put one bait out. I'm tying, I'm putting bait on the other rod. Eh, stay over here, I think it's a cat. Like, oh, he came, no, he's the one. What do we got? Oh, no, that's a carp. Check that out, boys. Right, little carp. Little carp on the, on the blueberries, that's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. I, I thought the the pineapple was a stretch. I blueberries what? I mean blueberries grow around here. Wild blueberries. Well, not pineapple. I guess the the blueberries make more sense than the pineapple now that I now that I analyze the uh, the whole situation. Nice. Right. That's that's. I should have been fishing for these damn things, not snakehead fishing all morning. This is better. That's a little better. What's up there, buddy? You're gonna be all right, my friend. All right, I'm messing with those sunfish, and well, it feels like a decent fish. Oh yeah, he's like way under all the weeds. I had to get this wet camera on my head. Don't come off. Yeah, the bite has slowed down significantly. It's been about an hour, at least. I got no more pack bait. Yeah, I've been thinking. It kind of makes sense that they would respond to uh, to blueberries before, before. Uh... Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. There he is. All right. Yeah, I mean, there's blueberries around here. I, I do most of my best thinking in my head. And, uh, yeah, I'm thinking they probably, maybe they've seen blueberries before. It's not completely out. Some pineapples, probably not so much. All right, not a monster, but I'm not complaining. Carp on blueberries. Yeah, I mean, that's a decent fish. He's probably six, seven pounds. Probably seven pounds. Nice. Beauty, eh? On blueberries. I think that might do it for uh, for fishing today. As uh, my back is feeling, is, is I mean, it's not hurting right this second, but as soon as I let this fish go, it's going to be hurting as bad as it was before I caught this fish. And I'm out of pack bait, as I mentioned. That's it. That's the pack bait. Got more bread, but bread's not really doing too much. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Decent fish. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Probably not seven pounds. Probably five or six pounds. Not bad, though. Not bad for... New bait, obscure carp fishing with with uh, bizarre. That's bizarre. They're eating blueberries. 
We're eating blueberries. We're going to get a picture of this, and then we're going to let him go. And I will see you back at the studio. All right, that's it. That's the end of the fishing trip. A, uh, a pretty good trip. And I'm not complaining. Got a... Well, I mean, you saw it. I don't have to tell you what I got. Uh, thanks for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day. And as always, cheers. Oh, the word of the day. The word of the day is oolith. O-O-L-I-T-H. And oolith is used... It's So bony fish have three oliths in their, in their head. They're uh, somehow involved in hearing. They transmit or transfer uh, vibration into the brain of the fish. And uh, they're used by scientists in aging a fish. They, they can determine the age of the fish by counting the, the growth rings on the oolith. Sort of like a, uh, like a tree. You know, it has growth rings. The oolith has the same thing. And actually, I brought up a picture of it so I could show you. That is an oolith, and that is one dirty screen. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I was going to make a movie about, I, I probably still wake, make a movie about oliths and the age of fish, which is a very, very interesting subject. I don't have time right now as I am uh, I'm cooking some fettuccine alfredo with habaneros and uh, garbanzo beans. It's going to be awesome. Garlic and... Yeah, it's going to be good. But, yeah, so I got to go. Cheers. See you again real soon. Carp on blueberries. Carp on blueberries. Awesome.